Ms. McLean for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And first, I want to start out by saying thank you for being here, but more importantly, thank you for doing what you do to try and protect this nation at the border. I think at times we get a little bit lost in our partisan politics and uh, your, your job and what you do is increasingly important. It has been highlighted if ever before, and the job that you do to try and keep this nation safe should be applauded and not condemned. So let me applaud you for the job you do. Um, in, in the interest of time, I, I just want to go through some questions to make sure I have the facts correct is, um, and I'll start with you, Chief Molden. Um, do you know how many potential terrorists were apprehended last year? Thanks for the question, ma'am. Um, and I, I know you're going fast, but I do just want to say is thank you for, for, for applauding us. What I would say is that, honestly, our jobs in the big scheme of things are fairly easy. It's the agents on the ground every day that sure. are hiking in those mountains and risking their lives to save the migrants and apprehend people that really should be applauded. But And please I will extend bring our thank you to those agents as well. Yes, ma'am. And in terms of um, the numbers, no, I, so I do not know. I do know in the Tucson sector, um, which is what I represent, um, there were two or three last year. I, th I believe it was two persons that okay. were on the um, on the watch list. And again, sir, just in the interest of time, we are in agreement that CBP has apprehended individuals on the terror watch list. It Correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, CBP data that I have said reports 98 suspected terrorists apprehended just last fiscal year on the southern border. Um, would you have any reason to doubt that, or do you think that's inflated or deflated? Does that sound directionally correct? I don't have any reason to doubt that, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am? No, okay. right, Congresswoman. Um, that is a substantial increase from prior years. Is that correct as well? That sounds about right. Okay. And would you agree there are a high, a high number of gotaways? That is correct, ma'am. And again, I'm just trying to get the facts, trying to leave the personalization out of it. In fact, CBP estimated that there were over a half a million people that got away in fiscal year 22. Sound correct? Yes, ma'am, that sounds correct. And given the number of people slipping past CBP, um, are you concerned that terrorists could be exploiting this chaotic situation to slip through the cracks? Again, ma'am, in terms, in terms of the gotaways, I, I think it would be irresponsible to try to assume who they were. All I do know is that a lot of people do get away from us. Fair assessment. Fair assessment. Um, also, would you agree that, the, that given the high number of illegal boarding crossings, the potential for a terrorist slipping through is higher than in previous years? I mean, just by sheer means of volume. I don't want to speculate, ma'am, but as Chief Mullen mentioned, we don't want to assume uh, the unknown. Uh, we are concerned always, of course, because to us what matters is who and what comes between those ports of entry and that we're able to identify every single person that comes through. And are you doing that? And we're not able to do that at I this know. time. And I don't mean that any disrespect, but no, you're doing but the best you can that is what the with, challenge what, is. with what you have. Mm -hmm. Would you agree that this presents a significant national security risk? When we don't have the right amount of resources the technology, the infrastructure, the personnel, where agents can get to the every bit of location across that border sure. to ensure that we have the vigilance necessary to find every person that's crossing illegally, then we, we have a high probability that... So would we, that be a yes? We don't know who <laughs> we, who's coming across, yes. Okay. In terms of the cartels, have they become more active on the border in recent years or less active? It is my belief and my experience that they've become more active in thank, recent years. Thank you. So throughout this hearing, we've highlighted several issues that have both arisen because of the open border crisis. My final question is, would you agree that our catch and release policies are actually incentivizing more people to try and illegally cross our borders or deter them? I think that with the current situation um, that we've been faced with, here in the last year where we are working now with trying to, we only have four dispositions to work with, which is return, uh, remove, um, transfer to another agency or release. I think that everyone nowadays have a, has a cell phone. So when migrants are released into a community 
they immediately contact the relatives, they contact others. So then that sort of incentive, so you would agree incentivizes with me that people it to come across. Incentivizes more. Correct. Right? It's like with our children. If we tell them that our curfew is 11 o'clock, but they come home at 11 30 and, and there's no consequences to their action, that only incentivizes them to come home at 11 30, even though their curfew is at 11. So, so I, I appreciate that. Um, I think it's clear that these policies put in place by this administration has opened the door for dangerous individuals, including but not limited to terrorists, to cross into to our nation undetected. These policies are harming our citizens in a myriad of ways, and every day that goes by, our national security is more and more at risk. Again, I do thank you for the job you do and extend that gratitude to the people and men and women that are actually on the ground trying to secure our borders. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've gone over my time. Uh, 